It hasn't changed that much, actually. Uh, it has always been a group process since the beginning. Even though uh, the very first album, I, I wrote myself the vast majority of the music. But during the, the years, there was more and more interaction. And nowadays, we basically write all the albums as a, as a team. So there's not really like one song, main songwriter, but there's many songwriters and everybody contributes to it. Um, it's true, it's, uh, it's a music business, like they say, and uh, for me it's always like the necessary evil, the business part. Um, I don't like so much to be involved in uh, too many of the business side because I like the creative process much more. But as I'm coming from a business family, my father was a businessman, I at least inherited some business genes, so whenever uh, I'm needed for making some business decisions, I'm always present. And uh, But like I said, it's not my favorite part of the process. Uh, it's a necessary evil. And uh, as long as it doesn't take too much, too big of a part away from the creative process, I'm totally fine with it. Yes, I, always, I think that we as Epica always brought something new to the table. And with every album, we try to also innovate and uh, try some new ways and I think I'm we are very good at that when back in the days many symphonic metal bands tended to become more soft in order to try to score a, a radio hit. Epica on the contrary always turned a little bit more happy and I think that worked very well for us. When I was a kid I started listening to rock music already pretty at a pretty young age and uh, Definitely Guns N' Roses has been of influence. Uh, I was a big fan when I was, uh, was a kid. And from there on, I started listening to, to heavier metal like Megadeth, Sepultura, uh, Amorphis. And from there on, I started also listening to symphonic metal uh, like uh, The Gathering, uh, Nightwish, their first album, uh, really had a big impact and I really liked it. And I think uh, for every band member in Epica, it is a bit, bit different. Some have a bit more of a death metal background, some more proggy, some, some more uh, rock 70s oriented. But everything comes together and everything blends very nice together. Yes, uh, luckily the, the, the departures, especially from Ad and Eve, uh, they left on good terms. Jeroen Simons, that was a little bit of a different story, but uh, luckily we also, later on, we uh, our paths crossed again and we played together on the 10 years anniversary. But with Jeroen, it was sometimes we had some difficult moments on tour. He's, uh, he has very specific ideas on, on how things ha have to go. And sometimes that didn't match with the general ideas of the other band members. So at a certain point, uh, it was better that we did split ways, but it was himself who who came up with the idea to, to leave, so it was not like that we uh, forced him to leave or whatever, that, that's what we never did. And uh, uh, like I said with Ad and Eve, that things went very smooth and uh, very well, and we are still on very good terms with them. With Ad, I have almost contact on a daily basis still, and Eve, every now and then, we see him at shows. So it's always good to see him again and uh, see that he's doing well with his new career. So yeah, luckily everything went well with the departures. The Act Kingdom of Heaven uh, has been, uh, uh, first of all, song-wise, a very important part of our career. Like the Kingdom of Heaven Part 1 is one of the, the favorite songs of all times of, of the fans and also very, very much for, for myself. And Kingdom of Heaven, yeah, it's, it's a place uh, on earth where we actually already can reach our true happiness and uh, that's all possible if we don't get too much involved in illusions because there's so many illusions in this world so many things we get attached to that are actually artificial but when we all get rid of them of all of uh, rid of the attachments we find the essence of who we truly are and our true peace of mind and our true yeah deep inner silence and happiness and that's actually the best feeling uh, and, and really uh, ha happy that uh, this this wisdom is available and that we all can find this path to inner peace. Uh, the Paradiso show was really an awesome event. 
it was all just such a pity that the DVD didn't get released back then because of the problems with the record company. They went bankrupt and they couldn't release it. And we were not uh, the owners of the material, unfortunately. So for 20 years almost, we, we couldn't release this, uh, this uh, fantastic footage. But now finally it's going to happen. And my memories basically are about the, the show itself, the, the guests we had like Roy Kahn and uh, uh, the guy from Gorefest. So that was really uh, a fantastic experience um, to, to be playing with, with such great musicians. And uh, I will never forget also that it was on the 4th of May. That was the, when we uh, remember the death of the Second World War. And that's uh, usually a day that was the, the, one of the worst options of the year to, to play in, in a venue because then people say nobody will show up. So. As nobody believed in us in Amsterdam, we, we rented the, the venue ourselves and that was the only date available because nobody wanted to pick that date. And we sold out the venue, so we proved with that uh, that they were wrong, that we actually as Epica, we were doing well in Amsterdam. And uh, that, that made us proud and that uh, showed that we were relevant and still are. <laughs> Yeah, we're, I can only say that we're working on it and hopefully it all turns out well. Um, it's not a purpose uh, by itself, but I think with our music we can... That with our music we can change lives, that's at least what, what people tell us and uh, people are uh, often writing us messages that our music is so important to them and did actually change their life. So it's not like we we think about that when we write the music, but I sure I'm sure that 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 our music can have a therapeutic and lyrics can have a therapeutic effect. And um, yeah, that's that's great. That's the the, the highest thing you can achieve, I think, uh, by being able to help other people. And if that's by the music, it's it's perfect. Uh, Then we come back to Kingdom of Heaven and uh, Kingdom of Heaven part one. That's the song I'm most proud of. And uh, even though we don't play it that often as it's so long, it takes a big part of the set list. But uh, every time we play that song, I feel really proud and really happy that we wrote this song and I feel still very attached to the lyrics. And uh, yeah, hopefully we're gonna play it soon again. At this moment, we are playing often Kingdom of Heaven part three which is also really one of my favorite songs. But if there's an all-time favorite, it's Kingdom of Heaven, part one. Cheers, have a great day.